Brad, how did this, um, how did you get attached to this project? How did it come to you? Well, Bo Flynn, the producer, had the script, and we had just finished making Journey to the Mysterious Island, and, you know, we started talking about what next, and he brought up Journey 3, and then at the same time, he brought up this. And um, back then, the script was pretty rough, um, but even, even at that early stage, what really drew me to this was uh, two things. Obviously, it was going to be big and spectacular and have all these set pieces, but the main thing actually was this dynamic of this family that had been kind of torn apart because of a tragic um, event in their past. And the movie was really about Ray, Dwayne's character, kind of, without even realizing it, putting himself and this family back together. And so it, it was this opportunity of having massive spectacle and, you know, everything you expect out of a big summer movie, but there was also this heart to it. There was this emotional core to it that I felt was very honest, very unique. Um, and, you know, it was also an original movie. It wasn't a sequel. I'd done two movies with two in the title. I did, just didn't have that. And um, it wasn't based on a board game or a toy line or anything. And I was just attracted to this idea of, like, doing my own movie, of, of you know, surprising audiences with something that they are they weren't aware of. Um, so it, it was just, it was kind of like a lot of great possibilities when I first got involved. Now this is the, <clears throat> this is the second time you're working with uh, Dwayne, right? Yeah. yeah. What makes him such an attractive and, and such a likable person? I think he's, uh, for all the success he's had, he's incredibly humble. I think he's incredibly hardworking. He's had ups and downs in his life and his career like everybody. And I think that allows him to appreciate everything. He doesn't take this for granted. So therefore, when you're working with him, it's actually really easy to communicate with him. Um, we have a shared goal, really, which is just to make the best movie with the best characters possible. Um, so uh, you know, I've worked with him twice now. And it's, it's a real pleasure because the guy is just, he's there for the right reasons. Uh, it's a challenge to make a big movie. He makes it easier on you because he has your back. He has the same goals as you. So as long as you can help steer the ship and get everyone moving in the right direction, he'll he'll charge forward. You know, he's not he's not scared of any challenge. So it's been a real honor for me. I focused less on the actual, I guess, broad swath of an earthquake and actually focused on how these characters have to interact with it, how they have to survive. And so I looked at, you know, um, kind of the fact that like a lot of these movies feel like you're viewing the spectacle from a distance. And I thought, I, I really don't want to do it like that. I want to experience the spectacle while being inside of it with the characters. So that's where you see things like the five minute single shot of Carlo running through the restaurant and you never cut and you're just chasing her as she goes to the rooftop. That's because I wanted this to be on the ground, in the dirt, with the actors. Um, not from a safe distance, you know? And I thought a lot of movies weren't really doing it that way. Um, so, you know, that was really important to me. And then the main thing is that I, I kept focusing on the story of these people, you know, and that the earth, you know, these earthquakes were gonna happen around them. And I focused on having different qualities and characteristics for each earthquake and tsunami and all of that. But I just kept coming back to them and focusing on that relationship, which again, I think at the end of the day, you remember the set pieces, you know, you, you think of the big action, you think of the big scale, but what, what you really care about are the people within those set pieces, the people that are within those events. So I, I was always really focused on just making um, an experience that I thought the audience would care about the people and therefore have an emotional attachment to the movie as opposed to just spectacle for spectacle's sake. How, <coughs> how uh, uh, difficult is it to, 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 to direct and to work with the actors when you're really dealing in an environment of green screen or blue screen in this? Well, I think what happens is a lot of directors get distracted by the technical because it is a technical exercise on some level. Just achieving the shots are an incredibly deliberate, challenging um, exercise. It, just figuring out how to record it is hard. The problem with that, and if you let yourself succumb to that, and you are tired and you do want to like, you know, give up on some days, but the problem with that is that you lose track of why you're there and what you're actually recording, and you're being caught up in the act of recording it. I was constantly trying to stay diligent about focusing on the performance, about making sure that, you know, that was the number one priority because you're gonna care about that person and what they're going through. The other stuff, 
is going to be fine. We're going to put in all the effects and everything. So my focus was to shoot as much, you know, real uh, elements, dirt, rocks, ceiling tiles, wind, dust, all that stuff. All the stuff that you see in the movie, that's all in camera because I wanted to know that I had it on the day and I wanted the actors to really experience it. I wanted them to really feel it because I didn't want them to have to fake it. I wanted to almost take away the, the safety net of acting and just have them get visceral and get real. Um, and so as challenging as it was, in some ways I had to kind of like separate myself from that and once I did have it technically figured out, trust in the crew to deliver that because we talked about it, we figured it out. This is the shot I wanna do, this is how we're gonna do it. On the day, I'm trusting you're gonna pull that off because I need to be focused on her or him, I need to get this right. And they understand that. But the director has to say that's the most important thing. Otherwise, you will get lost in understanding the technical and achieving all that stuff. And to me, it's just, I go to movies because I care about the people in the movies and I want to feel something. So I just kept my eye on the prize.